Good day, fellow FPV nuts. That's what time it was. I'm here to do a video today because I got this stack. And uh, there are uh, one or two videos out there, but neither of them really tell you uh, how to tell the difference if you have uh, version 1.0, 1.1, or 1.2. And it took me about an hour because I didn't go straight to the stuff to the diatone site and study because that's what I eventually did and figured it out but it took a minute and when you take it off you get this little uh, QR code it doesn't take you to the distinct board that's in that case it takes you to the diatone site where it has them all listed and you have to kind of go through them but okay let's get right to it I think after watching some videos, and I was like, well, I don't even know, because it said, you know, there's three versions, make sure you have the right one. Look at this little cutie. 16 by 16 factor. I'm going to put it in the uh, 2 inch uh, Byte V2, I believe. I believe that's what I'm going to do with it. It's really nice little board, and I think it's a much better alternative, in my opinion, than the... Uh, Sucks. I mean, Sussex. Uh, yeah, I flight. I haven't had any good luck with that one. I've had two of them. One came in my Cinebee. I am now one is on the way to replace it. The whole thing. The first thing. Uh, it's a long story. Yeah, I went through two. The deal is, there's three versions. Okay, uh, and version 1.1 and 1.2 both have two separate versions. Uh, they each have a pinned version where the stack is uh, your motors and our mapping and all that is by uh, pin together that pin uh, they pin there and then the uh, they comes it comes with one that uh, see this ESC that you're looking at it's got uh, the motors where you can solder them on well, you, they, they also make a flight controller that has those there where you, their direct solders are not, they're not pins. So, there's two, two 1.1s and two 1.2s. Now, the uh, 1.0, I believe, I'm, don't quote me, but I think it only comes one way. And I think it's pinned. It's pinned or it's, or it's soldered, but I think it's pinned. Uh, I think the reason they made so many variants of this board is because... It came in uh, three or four or more of uh, the, the diatone cubes, uh, depending on what motor configuration, what uh, battery you're going to run from 2S to 4S. Okay, 1.0 doesn't have a current sensor at all. Uh, the V1.1 and 1.2 both have a current sensor, which is right here. The little pad right by that chip there. That's your current sensor, and uh, they come with that. Still didn't tell me, you know, the difference, because there has to be a difference. I was hoping it wasn't motor mapping or something, you know, I'd blow up ESCs or motors. Anyway, I've got it figured out now. The other difference in the 1.1 and 1.2 version is the way PPM, SBUS, TX1, uh, and 3.3 volts are situated on the board. Version 1.1 has 5 volt, 3.3 volt, PVM, and S bus all right, right here on this part of the board. And uh, this is version 1.2, and you'll see these extra two pads here. Version 1.1 does not have those two pads right there. Mine goes one point, or the 1.2 version goes uh, from the very bottom is in C, no connect. I'm assuming. The next one's TX1, and then the third one up is S bus. Fourth one up is 5 volt. The next one up is ground, and the rest of them are all video, like the other one. And then it's got its uh, PPM and 
3.3 volt on these two pads. 3.3 is the top one and uh, PPM is this bottom one. There's your difference, uh, kids. If you happen to, you know, order one of these, and you know, I went by. I could have went by because they were right. I could have went by uh, Rich Day Quads where I got it because it did call it version 1.2. You know, I went back and looked at my order, and it did say version 1.2. I wanted to know, make sure, because I didn't want to screw something up. That's why I went to all this trouble, and that's why I'm making a video, because I had a lot of trouble finding anybody that uh, gave this information. Let's see what else comes in the stack, if you're interested, or in the, yeah, stack box. You got your, of course, standoffs and uh, some rubber O-rings for soft mounting. You got your XT30, because this will take up to 4S, and it, they give you a cap as well. And that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, this is gonna. Be, I have high hopes for this one because I've had really good luck with the uh, Mamba full size stack, 30 by 30, and the uh, 20 by 20. Two or three of the uh, 33 by 5s, 0.5s. Now I've got three 20 by 20s. They're really good uh, F4s. I want to really, I really want to try one of their F7s. Uh, That's going to be my next deal. I also want to try the Holy Bro uh, F7. That's full size. So of course, I want to try the uh, Nano or the uh, Micro uh, F7 in the uh, Diatone. But there you have it, uh, kids. If uh, any of you were in my boat. <laughs> And like, what do I do? How do I do it? Yeah, well, here it is. Uh, that's how it goes. And remember, some of them are pinned, some of them are solder. But I'd save you by the stack, like I did. You'll get pinned versions. Uh, the other ones, I guess, are for the uh, Dytones. Got this stack, and uh, I guess maybe more than just the cube. But and they've got several, several versions of the cube. So. That's the big difference, and nobody's made a video on it yet, so I'll be unero number uno one oh. And I, <laughs> so, uh, trying to help everybody out as well as help myself out. So, uh, there you go, kids. Next time you see this, it'll be in the little uh, white bite V2. Y'all have a super fine one, all right? Thanks for tuning in, and uh, hope you learn something today, like you do on JB's channel. Uh, 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 uh. Have a good day. I'm out of here.